Hello and welcome to Athena's Creations 2017. I'm Athena Turk. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and have been since 2017. Today I'm going to share with you the Beauty of the Deep bundle. It's got some amazing dies and really amazing stamps. And I'm also going to share with you how to case the catalog. And what that means simply is copy and share everything. And so what I've done is this is a six by four and I have cut it down to the card size of five and a half by four and a quarter. And I'm going to share with you the colors and how to create this card from our new annual catalog. And the sentiment I am using is from the Bottled Happiness, Sending a Little Message. So I've cut my paper at four and a quarter and I scored it at five and a half. And I am now going to burnish the score line with my bone folder the card base and I'm doing um, color on color um, because I want to be able to add the white from the Baker's Twine Essentials Pack and I'm using um, this piece right here is four by five and a fourth and I'm gonna use this really big stamp, the biggest stamp there, and I'm gonna use Whisper White Craft Pigment Ink. And just a little hint, you're going to wanna make sure you have plenty of time for this ink to dry before you proceed to finish stamping and putting your card together. And the reason why you want it to dry is so that when you go to put it together, it doesn't smear the ink. That's happened to me before. Now I just have behind my project, I have just a plain piece of computer paper that I don't know if you can see, I've used it a few times already, um, just to protect my grid paper. You wanna make sure there's plenty of coverage of the pigment ink. And then just place your stamp down Hold it down for a couple of seconds so that the ink can soak in. You could easily emboss this in white if you didn't have this pigment ink. And it looks really, really nice on this Misty Moonlight cardstock. And I'm just kind of, kind of hold it down for a couple of seconds, re-ink it. And I re-ink the entire stamp because sometimes I go one way and decide to go the other and I don't want to have not enough ink. So just go just like this. A couple of seconds. And then I'm gonna add some more right there on the top. And we're done with the craft ink. Whisper white. Set that aside. And so now I'm going to add color because it should be dry here in a couple of seconds, a couple of minutes. And I'm going to go ahead and bring in this little uh, stamp right here along with the little dots. And I'm going to use Misty Moonlight. I'm gonna go ahead and do the little bit of green, what would normally be greenery. I'm just going to tap, 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 basically is all you need. And then just give it a few seconds. Let that ink soak in. And now I'm gonna bring in the dots, kind of a filler, if you will. Go. And 
then I'll set this aside for just a moment and I'm going to bring in the sentiment and for the sentiment I wanted to use um, a circle and I didn't the punches I have are too big so I'm using the stylish shape dies this one right here to stamp the sentiment in misty moonlight sending a little message okay and then I'm going to stamp this image right here in crushed curry I had to actually re-ink my crushed curry it had been a while since I used it make sure there's plenty of ink on there and this is a two by two and a fourth piece of whisper white cardstock My plates are well worn, and so when I use them to cut images, if I don't cut my paper down, then there's an indention from the plates. And so that's a little tip for you, just to cut your uh, paper down so that when you run it through the machine, you won't have a bunch of indentions left on your other pieces of paper. And so now I'm going to bring in my dimensionals. Here we go. And I'm going to use the big dimensionals, and I'm also going to use the little dimensionals. And let me show you why. And if you don't have the little ones, you can always cut the big ones in half. It's just really convenient to have the little ones ready to go. This is the anchor. And so basically I'm going to put a little mini right there. It fits perfectly. Mini dimensional there. And then a regular size dimensional right there. Now this one sending a little message. I'm just going to turn it over and add dimensionals to the back of that one. Then the next step is I'm going to put this twine, tie it off. I want to give it enough room on this side so that I can tie it. And this is why we're stamping color on color. We're, that way I have room to add the twine like the catalog shows. And then just enough to tie it off twine can be a little difficult to work with sometimes it just takes a little patience there we go and so now I'm going to take off the back of the dimensional Oops, there we go. Set that right on top. We're going to put our anchor down. Just like that. Then we're going to bring in the card base. And this is going to go right on top. The nice thing about color on color is if it's not even... Unless you get real close in and inspect the card, you're not going to notice it. I love that. There we go. And oh, and I always hold down one side, lift up the other to apply my adhesive. To me, that's just a little bit easier. And that is, that is how you make this card when you case the catalog. Super easy. I had it open just a minute ago and let's see, what did I do with that page? Here we go. Page 112, casing the catalog. See how easy that is? 
super easy and it's so fun to play with that craft ink. Misty Moonlight. I think I wrote down the brown. Thank you so much for joining me. Hopefully you are inspired to get your catalog out, your stamps, ink, and paper, and create some beautiful cards. Happy stamping!